G'day, that's Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to another Slot Car Review. And today I've gone Scalatrix Vintage. And when I mean vintage, we're going back to the 70s. And it's quite a unique item as well. Unfortunately, I won't be able to test run it because of what this item is, and you'll see in a tick, but we've gone back to the 70s. So stick around, and let's do a vintage unboxing together. So welcome back to another vintage slot car review, but before I get into that, I do have to say some special thank yous to some followers of mine who have sent me some really, really cool items. I'm speechless, I can't believe it. Massive thank you. Um, wow, well, let's get into it first. The first one I wanna say thank you to is Slot Shops. They're a slot car shop in um, Australia. I'll chuck their website up now, but here's this beautiful sticker which will find its way on my wall. I will frame one of these stickers because I do love stickers. Uh, but Slot Shops, I'll chuck the website up. They have sent me these these uh, these items and I'm very, very, very thankful. They've also sent me some more stickers. Now, I love stickers and I'm dressing up my track every single day. So these will take pride of place in a crash barrier on a corner. Sorry, guys. I love crash barriers. Uh, but very much uh, into stickers. So thank you, guys. And more than happy to put your brand on my track. I really do thank you. And they've sent me a second sticker which again, I'll try and find somewhere for that, but one of them will be behind me on my wall. So thank you very much. What did they send me other than these beautiful stickers? Well, I can thankfully get rid of this now. I'm excited to get rid of that. Not that I uh, care much for that one, but look at this. My own personally named made NSR car setup map. Change map, display map, whatever you want to call it. And if you notice at the top and bottom, it's got at that slot car guy with the Australian flag. This is seriously awesome. Uh, guys, I cannot thank you enough for sending that. This will be in all of my videos. Every time someone sees this, they can think of slot shops. I really, really appreciate it. But please check out that website. Um, I'm massive on supporting local hobby shops. Check them out. If there's anything you like on there, grab it. Um, support a local business. So thank you very much guys. This is going to take pride of place on my table. The next shout out will be to uh, Great Bar Slot Car. He runs another Instagram page which is uh, RJ Pit Stop and I want to get that right so I get it right. He has sent me some really awesome items. Now not only do I like stickers, everything else, anything related to cars I like and we had a, we had a chat on Instagram and these guys make this stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly what they sent me and I think Again, thank you, I'm, I'm really appreciative. But first, before I show you the keychains, check out these Pirelli P0 coasters. Oh, I love them, yellow. If you love your F1s, you'll know, you'll know what these are. Red, orange, and blue. I love beer. A lot of beer is gonna, a lot of whiskey is gonna see these. So thank you for that, um, thank you very much. And they've also sent me a heap of key rings. A Honda branded one, so if you're a Honda fan, uh, another Pirelli's P0 key ring. And these are cool trinkets just to hang around the place. I can almost make signs out of them for the track. Of course, I love golf, a nice golf uh, key ring. But this, this blew me away, I was, I can't believe it. One of my own Instagram pictures utilized as a key ring. So please check him out. Again, I'll put both, the, uh, both his Instagram pages up. Check out their stuff. If you like it, again, grab it, support your local slot car fans, but super excited. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do it, but thank you very much. Now that that's out of the way, because I, I had to say thank you, let's do my first review on this mat. So what is it? What are we talking about? It is Scalatrix. Let me introduce you to one of the coolest bits of slot car history I have. And it is the U Steer, that's right, U Steer by Scalatrix in its original box. <laughs> this is from the 70s. Uh, a quick little bit of history while we're talking about it. Uh, this, was, this was released in 1970 and 71, so for two years only. And the product code on this is the YS, uh, I don't think it actually got a product code, YS100. Yep, it does, YS100 for those playing at home. This is a controller and car set with a, a barrier you can drive around. So let's take a look at that in close detail in a sec. And as I said, that is YS100, released 1970 to 71. 
But I didn't stop there. I had to grab the matching controller in its original box. So now I've got two controllers in one car. Uh, I can't, I can use this on my track, but the steering mechanism won't work because I don't have the controller plugged in. So I'm not going to show you how this thing runs, but we will take a bit of a tear down on what this thing looks like, what's inside it, a proper tear down. So let's get stuck into the U steer tear down. Rightio, so let's have a look at what you get in the box. But before that, let's take a tour as always. And I do love box art, as you're all aware. Now, I love this 70s finish. It's got the cars racing. You've got the controller down the bottom. It is the Triang. Uh, it's by Triang. So if you're familiar with that era, Triang was a big part of the Scalatrix releases back then. So really cool to see that. But I just love the art. I love the graphics. I love the, the riding style. And as, as I said before, it is YS100. Now, in this kit, you got one of two cars. You got a blue or yellow Javelin, which that itself is YS103 if you're playing at home. But let's take a tour. So it shows you here on the on the side of what you may be receiving: uh, yellow car, pink controller, and the the turning island, and a couple of bits of uh, oops, sorry, uh, whatever nationality the the product um, instructions may be in. Let's keep spinning around. I absolutely love this kind of box style, though. Again, more content stuff with power steering. Bloody hell, incredible. And again, that's the same as the other side. And if we spin right around, we're back to, oh no, single control. I actually like that. What a cool looking box. All right, let's have a quick squeeze inside. So I'll take this off. And what I like about this is, not only did I take the lid off, you've still got more decal work going on. You steer scale electrics. Oh, I absolutely love that. What a beautiful looking box. We don't make this stuff like this anymore. I think we've lost that uh, that flair or that... Oh, look, this box is even worth keeping. That's why I, I love it so much. Rightio. So, let's get into what's in this box. I'm going to tilt it up. And as I said at the start, you're going to get one of two colours. A blue or a yellow Javelin. So this car itself is YS103 for those playing at home. The controller comes in different colours. That is YS271. And then you've got the, the Island Hazard, which is what this is called, and that is YS272. So let's have a look at the Island for starters, and I'll see if I've got the flag handy. I can hear it rolling around, there it is. So what this was meant to do is, you'd put it on your track, and because you can steer around it, sort of, you'd sort of have it in the middle so you can kind of go around it. Now, I can't show you that because it won't work on my track because the controllers will not plug in. I will try and get a power base that suits that, but it's cool that they sent you this cool little island. Uh, and it's very 70s with that Tupperware plastic orange color, uh, the nice Scalatrix flag. And this is complete. I mean, I, as much as I'm a collector, I just love, I don't want to break that, the flag is still there. This stuff never lasts. It always goes missing. So I'm really, really excited that that's in there. Now underneath here, I'm not too sure, that might be just how that was printed back in the day. But very, very cool item to have in my collection. All right, let's go to the controller next because the car is the sh show of all this. And here is this beautiful looking, uh, now again, everything's a bit old and sticky. So it's got the very weird looking power plug which is to go up and clip into the track. But look at this fancy looking controller. So there's your steering mechanism. So you could actually steer the front of the car, which I'll show in the tick, and there is your power. Again, very 80s, very Tupperware-ish orange. What a mix of color, pink and orange. I mean, okay, uh, does that go today? I don't know, but really, really cool. I believe this works. Uh, I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but you know, I've got about 600 meters of uh, wire here to plug in, but a very cool thing, complete in its box. Now, let's bring out the star of the show. And this is where things get interesting. And I'm going to move that out of the way for now. And let's see how that sits for starters. Now, I absolutely love the color combination. The blue with the silver top of the engine. Nice big white spoiler. Orange uh, rim centers. Let's spin around to the front. Now, these are all stickers, stick-ons, because we're going back to the 70s. Remember, this is very minimalist. Uh, kind of stuff, plastic headlights, and I don't believe, let me have a quick squeeze, no, nope, definitely not, they're not work, they're not work active lights, would you put them in there? Definitely not, you'd love it like this. Uh, number three, do we have all the stickers? We do, number three on this side, and it even sits very, very cool, I, I, I absolutely love it. Let's go around to the back, 
Bit of exhaust work there. Unfortunately, it's all one color, but that was just how it was. Now, a good thing about this car to take note, the roll bar and the engine mount are always missing. So is the figure. They don't last very long. Now, I accidentally, and I'm gonna show you, because I was trying to, I was working on the motor to get it going, and I accidentally pressed my finger in the center and cracked the screen. So this is very fragile, and that was a very much of a, a dull moment because I don't want to damage this thing. But look how cool that looks. Very, very cool especially on my Harrell RS uh, piece of slot car track, which looks awesome now on this change table by um, Slot Shop. So thanks, guys. I, uh, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving it. Now, let's have a squiz underneath at how this weapon works. Again, love the colors. Pink motor, yellow guide, yellow rear diff working area. It is this incredible genius, I would say. I mean, we've got digital now, so we can actually change lanes, but this would have been groundbreaking back then so how it worked is when you turned on the the steering wheel on that controller back here there's a bit of a winding mechanism and this will this will move across which will move that arm left and right and you can see the arm here the middle arm now the motor itself is it printed with any speed i don't think it is it is rear wheel drive so as as per normal rear wheel drive but it's got a secondary gear there that screws in that mechanism as it moves left and right Really, really cool, and it looks like it's got a bit of a magnet on the back. Oh no, it's a bit of plastic. That's what holds it in. Now, how do you change the guide? And this is—I found this at the hard way because I had to actually fix the guide because it's—it's it's got a weird way it actually runs power. Now, let's zoom in on that yellow. This clips in half. This splits in half, and I'm not going to do it because I end up losing the power again. But this top part lifts open, and you feed the wire in, and then clamp it onto the actual braid itself. Really cool bit of kit that. So let's have a quick look at that. You can see on the left here, there's a little clip. They pop open and you feed the wire up and under and it just clamps clamps down onto the uh, negative and positive. Now, to work on this car, you pop the motor out and you release forward like so. So it comes out and that's how you'd work on the motor. Yes, then you can re remove the rear uh, and take the whole guts out. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm a little bit cautious on how old this is. But what a cool piece of kit. Scale Electrics uh, always innovating new things. This was awesome. So rear wheel drive, inline motor with the guide and the guide arm connected to it. Really cool, really, really cool. Now let's put that away for a tick. The secondary bit of uh, kit that I had was the box controller. Let's take a quick tour of that. Again, exactly the same box art. I love that, it's just the miniature version of it. We'll move around to the side and it's gonna have the code on it, YS271 for those playing at home with the Triang branding there, really, really cool. I love that very um, Austin Powers, yeah baby, the whole U steer, I love how that's written. Around to the side, what a beautiful bit of a um, box art and the other side, really cool. Let's have a quick look inside of that. And what do we get? Now, awesome, we get instructions. Now, I'm not gonna open up, again, it's got a bit yellow, but you get full instructions on how to plug this thing in. And as you can see there, it used to clip into the track. Awesome. Uh, uh, we are so lucky now, everything's wireless. It's just, back in the day, you had to plug everything in. I, I think that's pretty cool though. Now, let's have a look at the controller. Now, luckily, I got a pink. I don't know which one's rarer, pink, yellow, orange. Uh, but again, I've got 640 meters of, uh, of lead here, so I can probably stand outside my shed. But again, steering mechanism, trigger, so I've got a pink and an orange. But what's really cool is, look at that, the steering wheel on the orange is pink, but the steering wheel on the pink is orange. Psychedelic, man, that's trippy. Wow. Really, really cool. I don't want to mix them up. So there we go. A little bit of... Sky Electric's history. Um, again, this does power up, but I cannot drive it because the, the car itself will move on my Carrera track, but it will move like a crab because it's already turning left or right. I can't change the steering. Again, massive thank you to Slot Shop. I'll put them up again now for giving me this uh, personally made NSR um, work mat with my details on it. Awesome, so, so happy. Thank you very much for that. And the stickers, they're gonna make their way onto my track. And of course, uh, great bar slot, I'll put him up, and RJ Pitstop, which is his second account. Uh, but I'm, I'm blown away of the generosity. So thank you guys, as always, at that slot car guy. Take care, 
Cheers. Ciao.